a little bit of um, Osaka, and then we stopped by um, Kyoto. So okay. Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, and it was a good time. That was your first time out there? Uh, that was my second time. I did New Year's 2020 in um, in Tokyo and at the same club. So they brought me back out. Okay, you got a lot of love out there, but you got a lot of love out here in LA too. So oh for sure, oh for sure. Oh, you know they coming out to see you. You know you're in your hometown, April yes. 2nd, Friday at the Vermont Hollywood. Yes, and that venue is is gorgeous, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be live, man. Uh, we were up there for uh, Robert Glasper when he celebrated the release of Black Radio Three. Cheers! I yeah, came so that. I was with Robert when he did a lot of that album in the studio. So. Yeah, yeah. seems like forever ago, but you know, you creating your own legacy. So I'm just excited about what you're gonna do, what you've been doing. You got new music coming out too. Absolutely, absolutely. We stay working, we stay yeah. working. So uh, we got new music, new visuals coming out. You know, we got, um, we'll be overseas in the fall. You know, I'm not in the fall, in the summer. Um, we're gonna hit Europe, you know, we got I think like 12 dates in Europe, so. Um, these these LA shows are real special because you know there'll be some seasons where we won't we won't touch down at home. They'll have to follow the movement from afar, you know. So while we're here, we want to give people every opportunity to to come out and um, and show love and get the live show because it's it, it evolves, you know. Having done the whole tour, mm -hmm. every time it's even if you came to the to the Roxy, every show is different um, because there are new elements, there are different guests depending on who's available, and we just have a good time, you know. Right. And I'm excited because we already talked a little bit about your show on our stage. And, you know, mm -hmm. this is a live concert platform and you're headlining for us and you're going to do something extremely special that we talked about with, you know, live musicians and Absolutely. That's what I'm excited about. So you about to turn Absolutely. it out and turn it up and we can't wait for it. So you guys make sure you're following us at unrestricted underscore live on IG. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter underscore unrestricted underscore L. And um, you had a couple questions that came through prior to. I know a couple people wanted to know some things about you. So I picked a couple questions out. You know, if any of you guys hear your question and you're online and you're in L.A., we're giving away some tickets today. So one of these questions may be the ticket winner. You know, so if you are online right now and you're watching, make sure you hit us in the comments and let us know this was your question. And if you're in L.A., you might have some tickets today. If you there don't. Then go to unrestrictedlive.com and go grab those tickets today. They're selling out fast. And we want to make sure, you know, we packing it out for D Smoke up in there in L.A. and representing. Yes, so, it's going to be a good night. Yep. So the first question they wanted to know was, you know, what's your favorite moment you've had on tour so far? Ooh, that's not fair because, you know, every, every different location uh, had a different energy. Um, but one... I have to give a shout out. Well, it, I got to start off with at home, you know, L.A., just to look out and see people from different stages of my life, from my big homies from Inglewood to my friends from UCLA to some of my students to my cousins. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that's special. Mm -hmm. You know, my family was in there. Um, so that was um, what up, Chris Boogie? You know, so that was special. You know, and then, but but something incredible happened in Atlanta. You know, Atlanta, they sang back uh, "Sun Kiss Child" to me, and it was it was so poetic because that's a that's a black appreciation song. You appreciate, <laughs> I mean, of course, Black Habits is that as well. But right, "Sun Kiss Child" is kind of a family moment where it's like, imagine you talking to a younger sibling or a younger cousin or somebody, and you tell them telling them like the words of "Sun Kiss Child," how dare they treat you rude. I heard she kiss your wounds. I do see you, you know, and for them to sing it back, like when I, when the music cut off, when I dropped the mic and they just still singing, it was just like something yep. special. That's just turned my, my students in the building. Pura vida clase. <laughs> but so, yeah, we. Don't start boy. speaking that talk smoke. Don't start, you know. You said don't. That, that's, don't be, that's show, don't pull be up showing off. Show. You showing hey, off. Eso es lo que va a pasar. Cuando, cuando yo les digo que vamos a tener un show en L.A., ustedes van a llegar al, al venue, al club, uh, en número. Mucha gente van a llegar para disfrutar del show. Va a ser algo increíble. All right, I see you there. You know what I'm saying? You got to give love to, to, to. my Latinos because they, they be you pulling up. When I tell you they represented on tour, you know what I'm saying? It was love. 
Yeah, well, we all love, we all one, right? That's Absolutely. What it's to be. So that's Absolutely. what music is all about, bringing us together. You know, it's the universal language. So that's what we're here to do, represent love and peace and all that together. I was Absolutely. listening to Free last night on repeat. Mm -hmm. For some reason, that was like hitting me last night. So, you know, shout out to you for always just being inspiring and coming from a positive place. You know, there's not enough of that in music today. So, thank you know, thank you for bringing that type of love to the world because it's so important and we all need it. Absolutely. So we got another question here. What's your favorite song you've recorded and written and why? That's tough. My one one favorite song. Um, you know a song I might? It was a song I really like. And it, I, I wouldn't call it my favorite. I'm going to just say the one that comes to mind. Because it, my answer may change if you ask me on a different day. But I really like, um, I like Mind My Business. And that's produced by Kate Renata. And oh, um, no. somebody said Find My Way. That's, that's a good one, too. I like Mind My Business just because... One, um, uh, I stepped outside of my comfort zone. You know, I grew up singing. You know, me and all my brothers sang as kids. My mom sings. And uh, so that's, you know, I did that on that song and kind of talked, you know, talked my shit a little bit and was honest. And, and so I just think um, that's one of those moments where it's like I was proud to have done that the way I did. You know, so I, I love my, my business. But, you know, who knows what my favorite song is? That's why we keep doing them, you know? Exactly. Well, you're going to do a lot of their favorite songs on Friday, April 15th, in Vermont, Hollywood. So y'all be sure y'all go get this Friday, we're going up. If yeah, gonna hey, look, we need to see in the comments who is in L.A. Like, if you in L.A., put I'm in L.A. Because that just means if I see that comment, I expect to see you on the 15th. And he ain't playing. Fair dogs, what's up? <laughs> So it's going up. Yep. So go to unrestrictedlive.com. Get your tickets for Friday, April 15th. The smoke is going up at the Vermont Hollywood with Unrestricted Live. And also make sure that you follow us at unrestricted underscore live so you'll know what's going on day to day until show date. We got a lot of surprises that day for everybody. So make sure you come out. And we want to give away a pair of tickets today, but you know, ain't nobody saying nothing yet for us to give these tickets away. Who do you think we should give them to, D? Man, I don't know. I see, I see Inglewood Jives in here. Anytime you got Inglewood in the name, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, they deserve I'm, it, right? They just deserve Inglewood it. Inglewood Jive. Let me see who else in here. We got Big Love in there. Chris Boogie. Do uh, I've seen like, how do you add like a third person? Do you want to? Because yeah, you know every time. Yeah, let's see. Give it away. Who you want to add in? Yeah, we'll do some trivia. Let's add somebody in. You know what I'm saying? So we and got, was, I got questions. If they so can answer these four, questions, they deserve to be there. So we got four people that want to join in. So let's see. Randomly. Now we got Go ahead, pick them. 